Hi guys, it's Mel and Ethan, and we are back again today because it is Mel Monday, which is when Ooh. I take. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> Where I take over um, Ethan's channel and I appear in a video. Um, today we're doing something very fun. Uh, as we know, we're now in 2024, but back in 2023, some really good movies came out um, that we watched, and we're going to rank our top five movies that were released and that we, we watched in 2023. Um, keep in mind, our lists are very different. Uh, I don't think there's funny. one similar in no. our top five at all. Keep in mind, Ethan watched a lot more 2023 releases than I did. I watched seven I watched movies that were released in 2023, and Ethan watched... 59. So um, I was very easy to just narrow it down to I'm hoping to get five. Mel. I'm hoping to get Mel 15 2024 releases this year. I feel like that's not too often. We're already on track. I think we'll... Ever, we've already no, you watched Well, we just watched two. one. Oh, okay. Well, just me and girls, so... But I think we can do it. Yeah, but I um, yeah, I watched five. I've watched seven. Um, this year was nine so with bad. a short film and a documentary, but yeah, those don't really count. So no, so well, actually ten because Shazam, but you don't have Shazam ranked. No, I didn't rank it. So, so yeah, anyways, I wrote the ones I'd ranked. Um, so yeah, we have our top five. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna go from Mel's gonna do her top least... seven, just since it's Mel Monday. She'll. Do her seven and six, and then we'll both go five, four, three, two. Yeah, one. since I only technically watched seven, I'll just say my seven. Um, do you want to start? No, want, uh, I'll start yeah, with seven okay. and six. You start. Um, so number seven, I have Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. This is I the last that. movie that I watched. In. Did we watch that first or one? Well, we watched that this year, but yeah, I think uh, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Uh, I ranked it on Letterbox a four and a half star. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I thought this movie was fire. I laughed a lot. This is one of those like actiony movies. That's like my type of action movie kind of thing. Um, Jason Momoa did a good job. I found. I know Ethan thinks differently on that. I don't think he was bad. Um, no, it was your dad that thought differently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your dad did um, not. <laughs> but that's my number seven. And my number six, I have Elemental. Uh, Elemental is a movie that we watched. Uh, the, on the day we started dating. The day we started dating. Um, and this movie was really cute. Again, I would probably like it more on rewatch. I've only rewatched it one time yeah. and it was a while back. Yeah. And it, I, it was really late at night and I was really tired yeah, after I, a day of work. Yeah. So I feel yeah. like maybe I didn't get to appreciate it as much as I did, which is why it's kind of lower on my list. But I mean, my list only has seven things. So it's pretty easy to not make it in the top five. I'm hoping to make it a tradition that we watch it every August oh, 1st. Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I, I like that. Cute. That's smart. So, yes, yeah, so our anniversary is over August 1st. So. Alrighty, then we're going to go into our top five movies that were released in 2023. Ethan will start us okay. off, and then I'll go. My five um, is probably the only movie on... Well, I you know what? Actually, four out of my top five, I would imagine you will probably watch at some point. Okay. Um, five... Honestly, I think you'll be. I think it'll be easy for easier for you to watch four than five, and four is a horror movie. But my number five is Guardians of the Galaxy three, um, which I know a lot of people really, really love and have it as one of the best superhero movies. I personally don't. I think the Guardians trilogy gets worse uh, with each movie, and that's a hot take, and I know that because um, a lot of people yeah, it's consider... it's still in your top five. You're just contradicting yeah. yourself. Well, my number five and my number six are both ranked in 93 out of 100. Um, um, so yeah, my number six is Woman Talking. Woman Talking. But my number five is Guardians. I just like Guardians a little bit more. So, yeah. And it should be a higher rank. You should have it a number higher. I don't think it should be a higher, though. I don't a think point it five. should be higher, though, because my number five, or my number four is a point higher, and yeah. I don't understand your rating. At my number five, I have Barbie. Um, Barbie is obviously an iconic movie of the year. We watched this. Um, when did we watch this? Great question. July I don't 23rd. actually, fun fact, I don't actually have this ranked on Letterboxd. We watched it July 23rd and July then 23rd, August. July 23rd, thank you, Ethan. We watched it August twice. 8th. August 8th. And July. I ranked it neither of the times. Um, you weren't, I don't think you were really, 
Actually, you would have been using Letterbox in I August. I would have been. Not um, so. Barbie was really good. The soundtrack, as we know, is incredible. It's obviously done so much, um, like, wise and, I don't know. It's I'm very culturally it. relevant yes, movie. Yes, thank you. That's yeah, what I, that's I wanted what to say. Um, as a girl, this movie was incredible. Um, but I do think that my top four, I just enjoy, I would enjoy more on rewatches, which is why... Mm-hmm. Barbie was at five, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this is the only one that you have. Also, this is probably twice. one of the only ones that I've that I cried. Um, that's a you lot. cried to Elemental as well. I did also cry. You did to, almost cry to Aquaman. I too. cried to number <laughs> three and one as well. Yeah, well. So <laughs> I don't know what that says about If anyone me. knows Mel, I'm sure you can guess her number one. <laughs> uh, Barbie for me is at number twenty-two, so it's in the upper half. Uh, I have it ranked in 83, so it's still pretty high. But obviously, there's, in my opinion, 2023 um, is a And year. I didn't watch Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Um, I was told that I couldn't handle it. We're going to eventually try it, but I don't think Mel's going to be able to get through it. She cannot deal with animals being in pain. I can't even watch Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, so don't even. <laughs> All right, my number four is Scream 6. Uh, one of my favorite horror movies and for sure my favorite horror franchise. I love the Scream movies. I love what uh, Matt Bettinelli and Ol- or Matt Bettinelli, Alpin and uh, Tyler Gillett are doing with the Scream movies. Their horror movies are really awesome. Scream 5, Scream 6, and Ready or Not. I really like all three of those. Um, but yeah, I love Scream 6 a lot. It's the only... No, actually, sorry, never mind. The next story I haven't rewatched. Um, Guardians, and then my number one is the only ones that I've rewatched. But I do want to rewatch my top five to see if it would change at all. Because I wouldn't be surprised if my number three became a number two. But, that being said, Scream. I will never be watching that movie. I Sorry, I have it ranked a 94 out of 100. I can't watch horror movies. My number four is Murder Mystery 2. Um, what? I enjoyed it, but... <laughs> Murder Mystery 2 is fire. It has our kings and queens, Jen Ann and Adam Sandler. I rank this a four star on Letterbox. As a crime junkie, I love these movies. I also love that they're not really scary. They're more funny, scary kind of vibes. Um, and I really enjoyed the second one. I think more than the first one upon rewatch. Same. Um... I just really like everything they did with it. I love trying to figure out who did it. I just love those kinds of movies. I also watched um, Clue a few weeks ago. And that like kind of like trying to guess who done it thing is really fun for me in movies. And I like that stuff. So I really enjoyed Murder Mystery 2. And it's my number four. I think Mel, one of Mel's um, favorite genres of film is a whodunit. But she doesn't really know it. <laughs> but like it is. Because Murder Mysteries, she loves true crime. She loves... Learning about Every crime. Every woman ever loves true crime. You can't tell me that all you women, if any women are watching this, fall asleep to true crime podcasts and true crime YouTube videos. Like, it's just, it's, I don't know why it's just a thing. Fair women enough. love true crime. That's fair. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I have, science. I have Murder Mystery know. at number 33 out of 59, Bruh. Uh, but I have it ranked, I believe, a 74. Ethan, anything over a 70, I find is pretty good, so. Yeah, I just laughed a lot. I really enjoyed it. It just was very funny, so. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's not a great movie, but I just, I thought it was funny, so. And I was laughing with the movie instead of at the movie, which is a positive, so. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of something we watched the other day. Okay, yeah. sorry. All right, my top three. Honestly, I think upon rewatch of my three and two, all three of these movies could be ranked a 100 out of 100 for myself. But my number three is The Iron Claw, oh. which I have ranked a 98 out of 100. Mel knows how much I loved this movie, how much I want to rewatch it. I've been literally asking her every day. I asked her earlier when, we, when she was on her way home if she wanted to go see it tonight. I'm definitely going to rewatch it for sure, whether it's with or without Mal, and then eventually we will watch it when it's out of theaters, because Mal wants to watch it at home. Um, In case I don't like it. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I it's, uh, it's so good. It's so, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. It's definitely uh, top three movies of the year for me. Actually, it seems to be top three movies for a lot of people this year. So, Which is good. W. Zac Efron. W. Zac Efron always. Yeah. 
Uh, Miranda number three, I have Wonka. Um, I have it ranked no. a five star. Guys, this is a number two. <laughs> I'm ranked a five star. This was a great movie. Um, I think Timothy Chalamet did a really good job. The music was impeccable. What am I forgetting? He's trying to figure out what my number oh, two is. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, we didn't. Dress. We don't know what our top five were. Yeah, we didn't like, know we're before. Out right yeah. Now. Um, no. Uh, Wonka is great. Timothy Chalamet did a good job. I thought it was going to be a little bit cringy, and I'm really happy that I wasn't cringing. Mm. Um, I didn't love the little girl actress, but other than that, loved everything about this movie. I cried. I laughed. I just love this type of movie. I'm a musical, family-friendly movie gal. Yeah. This is just right up my alley. Yeah. Um, if you know me, you'll know I love that yeah. stuff. My top three makes a lot of sense if you know who I am. Yeah, that's fair. My, uh, or sorry, Wonka for me is my number 11 of the year. It's one of my favorites. It's higher than I thought. Excuse me. It's one of my favorites of the year. Really, really loved Wonka as well. We both really enjoyed it. We've seen it with my mom, mm -hmm. and all of us really enjoyed it. So, I don't think your mom enjoyed it. She didn't enjoy it as much as the original, she said. And she said she liked the uh, Tim Burton one as well. She said it was her least favorite of the three, but she said she enjoyed it. So, that's really controversial. <laughs> probably. I don't like the Tim Burton one very much, but that's I'm just my opinion. That, scary. that one's just fucking weird. Can you go with your number two? All right, my number two. Can you guess? I don't know what came out this year. What is winning every award? Oh, Oppenheimer. Yes. That's two? Yes. What else came out this year that would be one? My favorite animated movie. <laughs> oh, I forgot that was in yeah. 2023. So, yeah, my number two is Oppenheimer, uh, which also a 98 out of 100, so that shares a rank with the Iron Claw at 98 out of 100. I'm, I can't, I believe, yeah, I believe I only watched this once, which is really fucking stupid. Because I should have seen it again. <laughs> you can watch it anytime. Oh, I'm going to buy it eventually and watch it again. I really want to watch it with Austin. Can I watch it with you? Yes, I would like Mel to watch it with me as well. Cause it won all the awards. I'm kind of curious now, I guess. I want to like get her watching into... Last night was the Critics' Choice Award, and then the week before was the Golden Globes. And I love watching that stuff because it makes me want to watch new things. Mm. Like, The Bear won every TV show award. And the Bear and Succession. Watch the Bear. I really want to watch Successions. I and also, like, it makes me happy when I see things that I watch get nominated. Like, Only Murders in the Building. And my other favorite show that got not in that my fave man won, Billy from... Oh, Billy Crudup. Holy shit. Sorry, I was <laughs> really struggling. Yes, The Morning the Show. The Morning Show. And I kept thinking Heartstopper, but I knew that there was one. Last night, I was so excited. Well deserved. <laughs> and Meryl Streep won supporting actress for Only Murders. I was like, Billy, Don't though. Willie. And Ryan Gosling won for I'm Just Ken. Let me point that how iconic that is. Yes. Sorry, we went so freaking off topic. <laughs> That's okay. What is your number two? I cannot believe My this is your two number two. Is tit no, I'm kidding. It's the Super Mario Bros. movie. Now, uh, <laughs> Ethan is shook. I don't think it's This bad, movie but... is so good. <laughs> This is like 100 out of 100. This is right on my alley. Is this alley. your favorite animated movie? Okay. This is... is it? No. Oh, Sing. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Sorry. <laughs> What's above Sing? Oh, it's Jovia. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Literally, it's my two favorite of your top movie three. of all time. This needs to make my top 10 of all time. I have to edit my list. But no. <laughs> we should rewatch it. This movie is so good. I absolutely enjoyed the hell out of this. I watched this at the theaters and then rewatched this one night with Ethan when we lost power. Yeah, we were midway through it. We lost power. We finished it the next morning. <laughs> it is so good. Every time I watch this movie, I am just such in a good, happy mood, which is why it's so high. Music is fire. I love the story. I love that we learned... Great movie poster. Great movie poster. They can't see that. Yeah, probably not, but... Um, just, I absolutely adored this movie. And I was gonna put it lower, and I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. This is my rank. Absolutely. I'm to two. I think this was really that's good. That's you should think about it, to be fair. Uh, this is number 28 out of 59 for me, so it's 
Pretty high. Actually, still. higher than I thought. I thought you were gonna be like, it's fifty nine out of fifty nine. Uh, no, I don't hate it. I do enjoy it. It still gets a three and a half stars. Out of um, curiosity, what's your least favorite movie that released in twenty twenty? I ranked it a seventy eight out of one hundred. My least favorite is Taking on Taylor Swift, but that's a short documentary. My actual least favorite movie is Cocaine Bear. Which is perhaps a hot take. There was a lot of people that enjoyed it. There's a lot of people that didn't enjoy it. Really didn't like it. I didn't watch it. Also didn't like Perfect Addiction. Ghosted. Okay, you're going to drag but, some communities. Yeah. You can't keep going. No, all three of those movies are pretty hated, so I'm okay. Oh. Anyways, my number one. My favorite animated movie of all time. Um, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I watched it six times the month it came out. In <laughs> Four of them in theaters. Two of them illegally. Um, but yeah, I've watched it a total of 10 times. <laughs> uh, yeah, crazy. I love this movie. Every single, every single thing about this movie. Melly? My favorite movie this year was Tales of the Year Store, um, which I don't even know if that should count because it's kind of a documentary. It's a concert um, film. But this is Chef's Friggin' Kiss. Um, I cried, I laughed, I screamed, I stood, I sat, um, so many things. I went with my aunt and my mom and Ethan. What a um, funny crew. <laughs> it's a really funny crew. Opening night, back row, dressed up, made friendship dressed bracelets. Dressed to the nines. It was really fun. Um, this was just an experience, man. I also True. have to get points for the experience. Like, other people screaming with you in a theater, like, doesn't happen often. The guy walked in before and gave us, like a speech before the movie started which like i've never seen mm -hmm. happen it was really just an experience it was so fun um as a taylor swift lover this was fantastic singing the whole time and not getting yelled at to shut up is let me read you mel's review of this because this is again actually we only watched it once unfortunately what, um, I, write, what I write mel wrote i'm dead find me at my funeral cried screamed came <laughs> I have no words to describe this other than Roman Empire. I'm going to go sleep now and relive this day in my head forever. <laughs> 100 out of 100. <laughs> there was a little period where she was ranking movies, and this was one of them. This <laughs> is one of them. <laughs> um, this is actually one of my highest rated movies. You guys should look movies. at all my reviews. I write great reviews on every yes, movie. Yes, please follow us on Letterboxd. Pop them up. Can you do that? Um, Are you a good I, enough editor? For I that? probably not. But on it's Canva. in the description, so. No, but on Canva, can't you like write? Well, I can just add it the way I edit. No, but just but... add like. Write, write mine right now. <laughs> and then write yours there. <laughs> okay, okay. No? Are okay. you not that good Anyways, uh, Taylor Swift, The Eras Tour, I ranked it a 12. Or a 12, though. It's at number 12. Oh. Sorry, is what I meant to say. <laughs> number 12 of 59. I was like... But yeah, I ranked it a 90 out of 100, so... It's my favorite concert film. I can't remember if I have rep higher than it. They're both at a 90, but I can't remember which one I enjoyed more. I think yes. I enjoyed rep. Because it's a mini Eras Same. Tour, plus it's rep. I prefer rep, but we don't talk. Anyways, Mel Monday, our top five movies of the year. Woo! Oh, am I supposed to say bye-bye? It's, it's Mel Monday. <laughs> oh, thanks for joining. Um, make sure to subscribe to Ethan's YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Ding, ding. You know how it ding, goes. Ding. <laughs> um, so you get notified every time he uploads. And stay tuned for more Mel Monday content coming at you this year. Uh, write down in the comments some ideas of things that we could film. Um, Next week, I believe, is going to be our top 10 songs of all time. And I also thought we should both do our top 5 or top 10 songs of each of our favorite artists. So we'll do a video of both of our top 10 Juice World songs and both of our top 10 Taylor Swift songs. And eventually, we've mentioned this before as well, when we eventually go through phase four and five of the mcu we will rank those yeah. as well i want mel to guess some more characters of other franchises so we do have some ideas but please give us some more ideas yeah we don't have enough we don't have enough for every week of the year that's for sure so please let us know what you want to see and uh make sure to check in with ethan uh, later on this week because he's gonna post some shit i don't know what he's posting this week but i don't either we'll find out thursday 
Awesome. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.